Okay, let's take a look at this. I think it's, it's overall very cool. There are just a couple things that I would tweak a bit. Um, even like simple things like this, I think you could, um, I would curl up the fingers just a tad and even curl up that little pinky just a bit just to give this more of a relaxed state. She is, you know, resting and this feels very flattened out, very defaulty, a bit unnatural. So we can go into um, just detail work on stuff like that. And even when she wakes up here, you could, you know, you have movement there, which is cool, but because they are so straight, it feels weirdly tense. So I think curling these is going to help. Then when you move back here with this arm, A, it's a straight line. She's still going to have to have a little bit of an arc. You can adjust the rotation of the wrist just a bit more. So it's not pointing this way. And then when it's done, it's still pointing this way. You want a little bit of a change in there. Uh, the fingers could curl a bit more, maybe come a bit closer together as she's more tense. And then when you then push down, they can be pushed into this pose where they're flattened because of all the, the pressure on it. I think the other arm is cool. It's just when you get to here, boom, it just kind of stops and it locks. And then you have elbow movement here, but there's no real adjustment in the wrist. So that feels a bit too IK hand. There's a term. That's a bit soft. This turnaround in the fingers and the wrist, it feels like it's maybe going through the ground, but it just feels a bit too even. From A to B, there's no texture to the timing where it might start off a little bit here, you know, slower, and then you speed it up a bit here, and then it might get to this position and kind of readjust, maybe like some adjustment in the fingers. It's okay. That same thing here where when the hand moves here, A, this is up on a linear key. You want to ease out of that. You want to give it a little bit of an arc. You can start adjusting the finger poses maybe two frames earlier. So they kind of anticipate that move. So it doesn't feel just like a simple IK arm movement. Like that's a bit of a harsh move down on the phone as well. It's like a linear key, pow, just kind of snapping in there. This feels a bit weird, a bit fast. A, A, you have, you go up with the hand, but the pose is kind of the same. The fingers will relax as you're taking the hand off the cushion. So you can even, again, do a frame or two earlier finger animation where it anticipates that. It's a bit straight up. Kind of goes straight up and then to the left, so a little bit more of an arc, but I wouldn't shoot up so quickly. Definitely ease out of that more. And then it feels a bit too slow and even how those fingers go around that leg. A, all the fingers are moving. They're kind of moving at a very steady pace. Right, they're very even. Timing A, even is timing. Uh, the timing is even. And B, uh, offset some of those fingers so it doesn't feel supposed to pose. Same thing here, like you kind of hit I don't know, it's slightly offset, but it still has this feeling of she goes down, leg goes down, arm and hand adjust to be in this pose and stop. So it feels a bit too clean and still pose to pose. You can offset some of those movements and add some more complexity. It's not like you want a lot of keep alive and movement through here, because she's kind of like going ah, and kind of deflating there. But through here, just there, when, you, when she says, David just kind of goes forward with the chest and kind of locks just for that moment through there until this happens, which again feels very pose to pose because legs and head and arm movement are all happening at the same time. But when she goes up here, you could have a bit more movement in the in the chest and some more nervous movement in the head because I mean, it's she is tense and nervous, and that way you have contrast of movement, what's going, what's going on then back and a bit more relaxed and a big sigh, then back into tension. 
Otherwise, you have always those very clean pose and hold, pose and hold, pose and hold moments. Even on this leg here, when this leg goes forward, it feels like it's a straight path on IK. There's no arc, there's no change in the foot rotation. The foot will probably start moving and tensing up because of all the muscles firing up, so two or three frames. Before that leg move, the foot rotation would be different and it might rest a bit and change. But then you have a lot of uh, knee movement going down while the foot is not moving here. So always make sure that every body part is reacting to a moving body part. To a certain degree, it's not, you know, it's like your pinky here is not going to react to this foot. But into a certain distance, you know, when you have movement through here, it's going to affect the foot, it's going to affect the hips, for sure. Everything is good here. So yeah, so stuff like that. Look at your transitions uh, and finer details as we are finishing up the shots. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.